today on The Boat Show, we're here in beautiful Miami, Florida to show you the latest from Riviera. It's the brand new 505 SUV. It's a multi-purpose boat. You can use it for fishing or you can use it to enjoy it with your family. Just imagine going from Miami to the Bahamas or anchored somewhere and enjoying the great spaces that this boat has to offer. Now starting from the back of this brand new SUV, we have dropping gates. So the swim platform can be used as a casting deck. Now depending on what you use this boat for, the swim platform can be lowered into the water to launch or retrieve a small tender. From the swim platform, we have dual access. If you want to do a spot of fishing, there's a live bait well with aquarium glass and also tackle storage on either side. On the transom we also have a hot and cold shower. On the floor of the cockpit we have three huge fish boxes or storage bins. They're all insulated and just look at the size. There's a quick access mechanical hatch where we can see there's a Sea Keeper Series 9 for that extra stability. On port we have a summer kitchen. There's a sink, a grill and a hot plate. Opposite we have fridge and freezer and ice maker. As we step onto the mezzanine or this 505 it shows its true colours as a great entertainer. There are two lounges with built-in storage underneath. The one on port side also has a foldable table. A great spot to have lunch, dinner or snacks. Now the mezzanine area can be closed off with clear covers and opening up door and window, we can have a flow of air conditioning through to cool the atmosphere down. Access into the engine room is through a hatch in the mezzanine. Now on this Riviera 505 SUV, the standard engine setup is a Volvo Penta D8 IPS 800 with 600 HP and 441 kilowatts. But on this model here, we have the upgrades, and they're the D11 IPS 950 with 725 HP. Now the engine room is very clean and very efficient. Very easy to do any maintenance on the motors, and everything is well labeled. Access into the saloon is through a stainless steel sliding door. And if we open up this window, it'll transform it all into one ambience. As soon as we step into the saloon onto port, we have the galley. It's fully equipped, solid surface, sink, two burner cooktop, fridge and freezer drawer style. There's also a conventional microwave oven. And just to add, a dishwasher. On starboard, we have a large lounge with the drawer freezer that backs into the bulkhead, opposite the galley. Moving forward, we also have a dinner area with a large table that folds out to double in size. The light coloured fabrics, leather headliner, work beautifully as a contrast against the richly glossed dark walnut cabinet work. At the helm, the colours changed. It goes into a lighter grey. It's very modern. We have two 17-inch screens on the dash, joystick control, sea keeper, Two ducts for the air conditioning and controls and switching are just right here. And the seats for captain and companion are a caro. Plenty of natural light coming through the big windows on all sides, even from the roof. It only takes a few steps to reach down below to the cabins. The layout on this 505 SUV offers a three cabin, two head setup, sleeping up to six people comfortably. A VIP cabin with a double bed is located forward. Plenty of storage space, hanging wardrobes and under bed drawers. Natural light and fresh air from two hatches above. On starboard, there's a second cabin with two bunk beds, 
lots of room to move around. Forward of the cabin we have a shared head with a separate shower stand and private access from the VIP. The master suite is a midship. It's amazing the way the Riviera design team have used the internal space. There's a walking hanging robe, a full bean cabin with a chase lounge on one side and on the other side there's a set of drawers. Once again the deep windows allow natural light to flow through all three cabins. For air conditioning, there's 66,000 BTUs. Each area can be controlled independently. Moving forward is quite easy and safe. There is a strong bow rail all the way. There's storage on port and on starboard. And right in the middle, there's a sunbed. The bow speed on this brand new SUV has changed just to keep the anchor concealed and out of sight. It's a windless stainless steel anchor and it also has space and storage for any extra rope. Now we just got safely out of port and I just can't overstress how easy this boat is to manoeuvre. With the joystick control and the IPS system it just works flawlessly. Now just to run you a few numbers, we have an overall length of 55 feet, 7 inches. The beam is 16 feet, 3 inches. We have a draft of 4 feet, 5 inches. And the weight is 54,000 pounds. Fuel on board, it will carry 872 gallons. And fresh water, it's 122 gallons. Now this boat is capable of reaching a top speed of 34 knots and it will cruise on 28. Now at a cruise speed between 28 and 30, it'll reach a range of 390 nautical miles. And that's without counting the 10% reserve. Now being this hull number one, we have the upgrade on the engines and that automatically comes with auto trim and DPS. Now we can put these handles down and start picking up on some speed. Now just like all pod drives, as soon as you put the handles down, the nose will come up. But here, we have the auto trim, so it won't take long before it starts leveling itself out. A very quiet and a very smooth ride. Now we're going to put the handles down all the way. And wow, she doesn't take long at all to pick up speed. We're already doing 28. 30. We've reached our top speed of... 30, 35 knots, how good is that? Didn't take long at all. Now at top speed you can do a swift turn and the boat will stay nice and flat. Just shows you what a great job Riviera have done with their haul. Now we just finished our test on this brand new Riviera and what a ride. Very comfortable, easy to operate, great for the family and great for fishing. Until next time, see ya.